Hey beauty squad, it's your girl TT, Latanya Christina. Welcome back to my channel of all things life, love, and beauty. I hope you guys are having a great, great holiday season. I know I actually look forward to Christmas and the holidays. I like the summer better because I think my birthday's in the summer in August. And I think that's why I like summer better, but I do love the holidays. It's, you know, it's had its chilly days here in LA. It rained a little and you know, just gearing up for Christmas. So I'm almost done with my Christmas shopping, so I'm super excited about that. And of course, you know, I, in my last video, I did a haul, got some new makeup items. Not a whole lot, but I, I did more damage in the shoe area. And, you know, you just, you know how that girl's every girl needs uh, shoes. And, you know, with, with all of the makeup releases that seem like they come out every day, <laughs> every day it seems like, there's there's something new coming out definitely every week you know something coming out and you know what I'm like you know what I haven't bought any palettes recently because I just I just haven't I've seen a couple in person I was just like ah eh, I'll pass on that and I've been using my Huda Beauty nude palette that I reviewed a few videos ago and I like the palette and I started I put it down and then I picked it up for a look. And I'm like, you know what? I need to use this. We have so many makeup palettes that we we get, we use once or twice, and then they're off to the side. So today I'm gonna put that Nuda, the Nuda, <laughs> that Huda nude palette to work. I'm gonna be you guys two of my favorite looks that I've created with that palette. And they're perfect for the holidays. Actually, that palette is actually really nice for the holidays because you can glam it up. Or you could keep it kind of, you know, on the low, low or somewhere in between. So two looks, one palette today. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, comment, and more importantly, subscribe to my channel. You see the little red square down there? That means surprise. I know you're watching, so just surprise. And then hit the bell so you know when TT's videos are uploaded. So we're going to get into, we're going to get into this two looks, one palette using the, where is the palette? The Huda, <laughs> I cannot talk today. The Huda, Huda Beauty New Palette is what we're going to be using today to create these these two looks that uh, I'm going to do for you guys. So without further ado, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and let's just get right in. Okay, so we're going to jump right into this. I've already done my face, meaning I've done my eyebrows. And I baked a little, and my foundation to today was the Can't Stop, Won't Stop from NYX because I like that foundation, and it's also mattifying. So, and also brought y'all in a little closer. I didn't want y'all too close. You were like, oh my God, <laughs> you're too close. But this is as close as and comfortable as, as I feel. So, you know, you, yeah, because I'm sure y'all can see that right there. I, I don't know where that came from. It just showed up a couple of days ago and I'm going for real. And it's like, yeah, we're we're here to stay. So it's just there. So let's just get into this Huda. Two looks, one palette look today. And I think my first look is gonna be a halo eye. I haven't done a halo eye in a little while, and I love a halo eye. So let's just jump right into this very, very, very pretty palette here. I'm going to start off with Tickle. It's a soft pink here. We're going to start off with that and just apply that in the crease and just start building, building this color up. As I was saying in my intro, I'm so ready for the holidays. It is just in full holiday mode at this point. So I've still been going to the gym. I didn't go today. I didn't get up today to go, but I've been going to the gym and I usually go to the gym, you know, pretty regularly. So, you know, at least I don't think I eat that bad. My problem is drinking and, you know, wine, you know, vodka, that's, you know, that's my vice. Not so much as the food, but definitely <laughs> the drinking is my problem. And so I, I try to keep it at bay, you know, and working out definitely kind of helps me with that. I mean, this palette, it's just a pretty palette. And I know some people, you know, were 
kind of like, mm, you know, it's it's a different spin or a different take on nude. Yeah, it just goes on so nice. I'm going to take, hmm, I'm going to blend that color a little bit with this color here, Tease. It's kind of a dusty purple gray color. And I'm just going to take that right into Tickle. And I love, uh, I love, you know, to drink, you know, and I do it pretty regularly. Almost every night I have a, I have a drink. And one of my husband's friends is like, man, I think she, she might have a problem. I'm like, no, I just like to drink. <laughs> yeah, this, this blends very, very well. Very, very well. And we have, you know, our dog too, Rosie. I call her Rosie Posey. She's a cutie pie, but she is every bit of a puppy. She's just, you know, a few months old. And I tell you, her little ass gets into any and everything. She chewed up the, the couch leg. She's teething, and she chewed up the couch leg. I mean, had a field day like it was an apple or something or a watermelon just there for her to, to chew. And she was like, okay, this, you know, this is what I'm going to do you guys and I'm here watching her and that's what she does on my watch okay like that so I'm going to take a different brush my Mac 217 blending brush and I'm going to take love bite here because it's one of the darker colors in the palette I'm going to take that and put that kind of on the outer and inner corner here to create that halo and then I'm just kind of going to join them a bit but yeah, Rosie chewed up the, the couch leg today. And, you know, when I'm here watching her, I feel like I have to watch her. I have to watch her continuously. I'm just going to blend this out softly. Just trying to keep the color, what is that, Love Bite, right here in the crease without overshadowing those other colors. Just kind of keep it separate there. And it's actually blending very well. <sighs> All right, so like I said, we're going for the halo eye here. So I'm going to go on with some ColourPop concealer here. I'm going to try to create a, a different type of halo here where I'm just going to make the, the top end of it kind of like a funnel here. If that's going to work and it's just not going to work today. All right, so we're just going to go with the halo eye here. I like this concealer for a halo eye because it's nice and sticky. That's why I like this, this particular concealer. Especially, you know, for cutting a crease or something like that. Because it actually, it's, it's sticky, it's tacky. I absolutely love a halo eye. So, I don't do them all the time, but sometimes I'll do them more than not and I'm going to take this color here charmed here and it's got some iridescent purple brown white colors in it and it's just pretty look at that it's it's really pretty we're going to use that in the hay oh look at that that is nice really 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 nice oh yeah see why I love a halo eye and just kind of brush it all over. <sighs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. I'm a sucker for a halo eye though because I have hooded eyes and it just makes them seem, you know, just a little, you can just see the dimension more when you have a halo eye. Ah. <sighs> Uh-huh. Like that. All right, and then I'm just going to take... I didn't add any additional product. I'm just kind of taking that last color, Love Bite, and just making sure everything is blended, you know, blended in kind of well. I'm going to just slightly sweep it <laughs> across there. All right. I like it. Oh, yeah, this is... This is all, all good. I love a good halo eye. All right, let me finish this up with some lashes and some mascara, and I'll be right back. All 
This is look one. I think it turned out pretty darn good. And I went with a new lip because my eyes are obviously very dramatic. Throw on some Ardell lashes because I'm loving those lately. And Fresh Brew lipstick from MAC, Cork Pencil, because it was a rumor Cork was being discontinued, but I stocked up, so I won't be running out anytime soon. And just a gloss, I don't know which, just a gloss that was here on top of it, but you know, this, I'm gonna say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fill in the halo eye, look one. So, hope you guys like this look, so let's just get into the second look. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's get started with look two. I was really feeling that first look. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we're going to start off with. Let's go on with lace here. It's a, a soft, uh, as I just dipped my finger in it, it's a soft pink. I'm going to say it's it's a very soft actually it's a really soft lavender is what it is and we're just going to start with this color I had to go check on the dog she's been she's quiet outside and normally she's howling like you know somebody's torturing the poor child the poor dog and she out there just playing she don't want to go outside but when she gets outside she's like oh I like it out here TT she out there playing, running around. I mean, and as we keep telling herself, she is just a puppy. But yeah, she out there enjoying the the 70, de 70 degrees today. She's playing around and I'm going to take her for a walk shortly and get her some, some exercise. Okay. Yeah, I like this pink. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's go in with raw, which is kind of this brownish color here. It looks brown, and I'm just going to add that right, right over that first color, concentrating it more in the crease. And it actually, I don't know what to kind of call that color right there but it's pretty <laughs> I'll say that it's a I don't know how to call it uh, uh, I'm not sure but I'm just trying not to take it it's a brownish it's in the brown family for sure definitely appropriate for this palette considering it's a it's a nude palette but yeah I, I like it because I don't think uh I don't know what I'm just I'm winging this so I knew the first one I was gonna do a halo I just you know obviously didn't know the colors that I was going to use so I'm gonna go back into this color love bite here this is one of it's the darkest shade in here and I'm gonna take that see how it, look how it just picks up man nice color place it on the edge on the edge on the corner here and just kind of work it really just kind of on the on the corner here I'm gonna grab some more kind of tap off the excess there and just kind of blend it here into the outer V kind of put them on the lid here there's a lot of pretty colors in this palette <laughs> lots of pretty colors in this palette there's daydream which is this kind of pinky color here we can kind of See how that's going to look up against this. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's just say yes. We're not going to take it all the way. And I might layer this with another color. Yeah. That's extra pretty right there. And we're going to go back in with Love Bite and kind of clean that up a little bit. Just kind of taking it about halfway to where Love Bite stopped. We just pop something in the inner crease there. Some of these colors are just, and let's just dust some of this under the eye here. I'm gonna take lace here, kind of dust this under here. Yeah, I know, I'm doing, 
<laughs> several things here. I'll take this under here. Okay. Let me finish up this eye look, number two, and I'll be right back. <laughs> and voila, look two. <sighs> I like them both. I don't know which one I like better. <laughs> I'm leaning more, maybe more towards this look, and it's probably because of the lipstick. And this color is... Too Faced Melted Matte Metallic in I Want to Rock With You. And I, this is my favorite lipstick right now. This and this, one of the, the lipsticks from KKW. It's her, her deep purple, her deep kind of burgundy purple one that she has. I wear them all the time. This one I wore last Sunday and got so many compliments on it. And a couple girls text me that they went out and got this. This color is bomb. And I love the way all this came out. This Huda Beauty Nude Palette is definitely a new spin or new take on what we think of nude or neutrals. And I like it. These two looks that I've created with this palette, you know, you can glam it up, glam it down. I used Ardell lashes again, but I used 252. They were recommended to me from a friend at MAC. And I love these. I, I love Ardell lashes. I, I bought a couple packs recently. And I'm just, I'm, I'm loving everything <laughs> right now. It, it just has all worked out fine. So let me know which look you guys like best. One with a halo eye or two with kind of just this, the just the lip popping and these, these lashes that really just kind of curve my eyes all the way around and it just kind of helps sets off the look. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious, look one or look two, or both, <laughs> actually, because I do like them both, and <sighs> I'm not sure which one I'm leaning more towards. Like I said, I think I'm leaning more towards this one, but let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and more importantly, subscribe to my channel of all things life, love, and beauty. Until next time, TT and Rosie Posey, <laughs> we are out.